Hi viewer, this is a finally I bring the video for underground water tanks. Detail of underground water tank I have to discuss with the architecture, structural, mechanical and everything and as per the requirement of the any villa or any buildings. So first of all we have I will tell you what we discuss what we things we have to cover. This we have to cover this section A and I have to cover section B and this is manhole details and this is plan. So first I have to would like to start from the plan. Plan so simple you have to make the plan and then you have to cut the section section A section B and for mechanical engineering building sites mechanical engineering must be understand what is the section what is the elevation what is the pumps and what is the wall thickness and everything so should be known in mechanical engineering so so I have to cover the sections for example this section this section I will detail it so this is a plan for architecture plan for example so you have to understand it what is the meaning of section so I have to start with this is a water tank underground water tank so uh, this is pump room small pump room this is manhole to access so this is things here this is plan we saying plan so what is the size of this plug plan and of the water tank this is 7 meter 5 meter by 3.5 meters so 3.5 is the depth 5 meter is the uh, width you say uh, this is the as well 7 meter is the this elevation is a width, you know, see 7, 7 meter, 5 meter, and 3.5 is a depth. So, this is a cubic, whatever the cubic water need, you calculate this one, multiply by, you will get the cubic water from this. So, I am not going to tell to the cubic. So, this is a man manhole for access for manhole for this tank. This is access for manhole for access for a pump rope. So, pump is tall inside, they, they will be through the building from this pump room pump up will be operation so this is very clear so as per the architecturally uh, structurally they need you know 200 wall reinforced wall just like that and this is uh, 200 will be covered by the uh, thickness of the RC wall of the wa waterproofing and many things we have to do the waterproofing membranes and many things we have to do so thickness of the wall cluster with this one and this so size is approximate the 7.8 h2h but it will be approximate 400 will be go to the structurally or membrane we have to waterproofing like that so we have to cover this area approximate 400 half meters less than four uh, half meter 400 mm or 40 centi you say 0.4 meters okay so it will be covered like that so manhole will be size for access to the tank this will be the 7 meter sorry uh, 7 centi the man can go inside and clean this and this one this is drop beam you can see in elevation this is green line is a drop beam uh, so we need a beam it cannot be just stuck the uh, approximate 7 meter slab is one so we need a drop beam for a strength because this heavy duty sometimes the vehicle will go over this and because this is car parking area or irrigation area so we need to be get the thickness and powerful structures so we need to provide the beams for strength so this is we cut the section from here one section b you can see section b and we cut the section a this is structurally they say 20 mm thickness of suspended slab structurally this one this is as well there are 8 power 14 mm and 8 by 10 by 14 by 1 by this structurally this is a dimension 200 by 200 5.8 because i told you this is proximate cover to the 40 m uh, 400 mm because this is the membranes and waterproofing and wall, wall thickness cluster many things as per the mechanical requirement as per the stru structural requirement as per the architectural requirement so this is the size of the pump room approximate to 2 meter by 2 meter you can see here 2 meter by 2 meter so thickness will be no need for a waterproofing or membrane inside because this is not filled with the water so this is that's why it only keep the 200 200 the wall thickness so this is see here so this is section A, we have to cover this, this is water tank and this you can see here 200 by 200 
and this is 200 by 200 this is a plan so we have to cut the section A section A we cutting from here so this pump room is not coming with the section so we can from we can cut from here we can see from here what the thing is coming here so this is manhole maybe the ladder will be here or like that so you can see here section A see this manhole the ladder you can go up and down so this is here the ladder here GI ladder and this is equal equal this is a broad uh, drop beam this is a light, light dotted this one see green line this is a drop beam this is a drop beam as well here this is a drop beam and this is a thickness of 400 200 by 200 see this is this is a 200 wall of the block cluster finishing and this is this uh, 400 bitumen memory waterproofing I told you this one so thickness of wall of this RCC two layer of the non non toxic proxies so it will become here like that as per the mechanical requirements and this is little bit down here you know, for cleaning purpose so this is rescue cleaning for this here slope will be little bit here for one person every time you need a slope so keep in the mind in mechanical engineering here. this is a bar distribution for the uh, structurally so it, it, it is equal 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 by 400 400 this is drop beam as well is the from the 400 400 by 400 beam this is the, as per the structural is 6 dia 14 mm mm -hmm. this is 8 mm and this strip yeah this is 7 meters okay this is 3.5 meter depth I told you here 3.5 so 7 meter is coming here we will be cutting from here we are not cutting from there section B will be the will be the 5 meters so you can see here this is a wall thickness this, this one be manhole opening here we cannot cutting we are cutting the slab we are not cutting the uh, we are not cutting with the opening of manhole so this is wall is showing here but there is a after 1 meter 2 meter there is a manhole they will add so we write down the full manhole the access so this is water tank slope um, keep in mind we need a slope tie cards slope water injection joints so this is 4 meter the depth because this is 4 meter depth means the 300 will be covered here 400 will be covered here 200 will cover here the 3.5 the size of the tanks so you can see this one and you can design like that that is tank and sketch like that to any tank you can want to design in the future of the, your projects so you can copy from here and you can understand the many things so I will cut the section A, A now section A from start from here so this is a level you have to tell you the level 2, two minus 2 0.85 this is maybe the above level is not 0 0 because we have to cover this down level is a 3.5 so it means above level is the more than 1 maybe there is you have to minus this one 1.25 like that so it will become to the plus minus of 2 the 3.5 the total depth is a 4 meter for this tanks because 400 mm is cutting this like that so finish floor level is a 2.85 <coughs> so we have to cut the section A let's see here section B now I have to cut the section B section B as well B I will tell you section B will not cut into the pump room or like that so yes I will tell you section B this is section B you can see the letter from here because this is letter is here see this is letter so you can see the letter and this wall you can see like that this is line I showing this wall this wall edge is showing this wall right here and this is ladder you can see this is 300 by steps equal and GI ladder we have provided for uh, rusting purpose so you don't get the rust GI pipes so this is same like that 5 meters and 400 400 this is manhole is a ladder and you cannot see this manhole from this section you can see here we will be cutting section here it will be very far from here the section but manhole will be here you can see here so this is a depth 4 meter I told you approximate for uh, 40 centimeter will cover here 2 centimeter this is totally the 3.5 so we cannot see the slope 
in this section you can see the section in slope because slope is going here so this is the slope is not showing here but in the other section they showing you slope so I will tell you that this is 20 mm thickness RC wall bitumen membrane waterproofing it was this one 220 mm thickness block pack with cluster finishing this is the level this is finished floor 0.85 plus 0.85 so what is the hair point uh, you can see the inward levels plus 0.85 minus 285 minus 325 so this is approximately the tap is the 3.5 inside to the side and this total is the 4.4.1 so you can see here 4.1 and this finish floor you can here here this is water type so this is section and this is manhole manhole cover i will tell you that this manhole cover we need to explain you this is simple 700 150 500 this is handle to catch this one this is 150 you can be lift this by the hand handles so this this one is the structurally put away and this is uh, this one is a section handle will be made like that manhole will be handled like that of this is section detail so you can see here this is a dimension is providing here so hope you understand this drawing and enjoy this drawing and you will be find new the project you can use this drawing you can make the drawing you can make the sketch with this this drawing and hope you enjoy this video thank you and subscribe my channel if you can subscribe it and like it this video if you like it because if you like it I will encourage myself so I will make the more videos. So you must be like it and subscribe my channel. Thank you. Bye bye. This is Afinali.